Hi, my name is Warren Buckley and this is the screencast for the dictionary translator for Umbrico. Okay, so we have uh, an empty uh, Umbrico installation, so I'm just going to show you how to install uh, and use the dictionary translator for Umbrico. Okay, so let's uh, log in. Uh, you'll see that we have nothing in the content section. However, if we go over to the settings section um, and expand the languages, um, I want my website uh, to be translated into English, Danish, and French. Um, so these are the languages I've set up, but to create a new language, let's say we want it in German and also, so let's create a new language. So let's uh, pop Arabic or something. German, uh, yep, we have it in German and create a new language. So um, we're going to translate our dictionary items into English, Danish, French, and German. So if we expand the dictionary items, I've already got some dictionary items here. So we've got cat, dog, and house. So if we click on cat, for example, uh, we've got the four text boxes which represent each one of the languages under this folder here. Um, what the package will do once we've installed it uh, is next to the save button, we'll have a new button which will be the translate button, um, which will automatically translate the dictionary icon for you in these languages. <coughs> so let's uh, go over to the developer section and install the package. So if we expand the packages section, you'll see that we haven't got any currently installed packages. But if we go to install local package and browse our package which, which we've downloaded from Iron Braco, uh, if I just come find it, I uh, just need to agree to the risks involved and need to click load package. Um, so this package just tells you what the package name is, obviously my name, uh, my site, and you just need to agree to the license and just a quick read me what the package does. <coughs> just need to install the package. Okay, so the package is installed, but for us to uh, start using it, we need uh, a thing called an app ID from Microsoft um, to allow us to use their translation web service. So if we uh, open this link here in the new tab, and you're going to need to sign in with a Windows Live ID. Um, I've already got one set up. In my case, I've already applied for an app ID, but to apply for a new app ID, you just click this link here, get started by applying for an app ID now. Uh, just fill in your website name or application name, quick description about it, your company name, region, email address, um, if you want to receive promotional offers or whatever, you may want to uncheck that. Um, fill in your website URL, it's optional obviously. Have a quick skim through uh, the API terms of use just to make sure you're happy with using it. If not, you'll have to uninstall this package. Okay, so in our case we've already got an app ID key, so if we uh, just paste it in and uh, hit save. This will automatically update uh, a config file that's been created in the new in the config folder at the root. Um, so it saves you having to open that file in Visual Studio and manually updating that config file. So we've just done it in the installer just to make life easy. Um, also, the installer has modified your web config um, with the system.service model um, stuff for this web service. Um, but uh, on uninstallation it will remove it um, so there's no worries there okay so let's uh, have a look and see our button or package in action so we go to the settings section <laughs> great server error this uh, obviously where we've modded the web config uh, it's taken a little while for it to reload so if we just hit settings section again um, it should be fine now it was basically where we've modified the web config with the system.service model. Um, the Umbra code was taking a while to restart now, so it's now gone. <clears throat> so if we expand the dictionary item and we go back to our cat, um, if we now you can see we have our new button. If we click it straight away, you see we get an error. It's saying, please fill in one language to do a translation. Okay, so uh, let's do that then. Let's uh, fill in the English for cat because I don't know the Danish, French, or German for cat. So if I hit the translate button, 
it will automatically ping uh, the Microsoft Web Translation Service. So in this case, uh, in Danish, cat is the same as in English, but in French, French and German, it's obviously different. <clears throat> so obviously now it's as simple as that really um, we can kind of do it backwards so we can kind of say if we know the German and press the translate button it will automatically translate kind of backwards as well so uh, we can now save this item uh, for a translator to kind of review to make sure the automated translation is uh, correct so if we can just save that so if we go into dog let's uh, do our dog item um, let's say we know dog and maybe we know dog in French which I think is chien. Um, this however won't work, I'll just quickly show you why. Um, it just says please fill in only one language to do a translation. This is because um, we don't know which uh, language we want to use um, as the base language to translate all the other language items into. So uh, let's uh, fill in dog again and press translate so yeah we get the translations automatically there so we press save uh, that's practically it it's obviously uh, nothing uh, amazing too exciting but obviously if you have a multilingual website uh, I think you'll find this package very useful um, for whatever reason if you're unhappy with the package or you want to remove it after you've done the translations I'll quickly just show you how to uninstall the package so if you go back over to the developer section, uh, expand the packages section, and under installed packages, you should see the dictionary translator. Um, if you just click the uninstall package, make sure all of these checkboxes are checked. Um, this will make sure there's no files left behind. Um, just click confirm uninstall, and it automatically removes those files and removes the changes it done to the web config for you. So yet again, we may uh, Umbrico may restart uh, due to obviously the changes to the web config. So if we go to the content section, I'll just give it a moment to try and reload. And just go back to the selling section. Um, if we go back to the dictionary item for cat, you can see our saved translations, but our button is now gone. Okay, I hope you enjoy. Um, any questions, just give me a shout. Thanks.